Ijika, a remote fishing village built on a steep mountainside. I've arrived on New Year's Eve, just in time to see the village men get together and visit each and every house, 283 in all, and perform the village chant. It's a kind of a New Year's trick-or-treat. It earns their leaders a cup of rice wine, while the rank and file get to watch. <laughs> Though if they make it through the afternoon, they're invited to the New Year's party at the end. <laughs> Most people celebrate the New Year privately. They have a meal with friends and family, and then sit back to watch the festivities on TV. After all, it's the middle of winter. Nobody wants to brave the bitter cold outdoors. Which is why I'm so surprised when the very next morning, men and women creep silently down to the beach where they disrobe and wade naked into the freezing sea. It's an ancient Shinto ritual. They're purifying themselves for the new year. Though it seems to be in spirit only, the ocean around here is anything but clean. <laughs> <laughs>